Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com. Today I'm doing, well, to be honest with you, leftovers. But we're calling it pepper scallops on potato pancake. I had some leftover mashed potatoes, and uh, I figured, let's make something cool. So uh, so I did. And it actually came out pretty good for just making it up as I went along. I had, uh, I don't know, about three quarters of a cup of mashed potatoes. I had already had a little bit of butter and milk in it. We're going to put some pepper and a big pinch of salt. I'm going to put one egg and then a couple tablespoons of breadcrumbs. Now, a lot of people in these recipes use flour, which I don't like, because flour, you always get that kind of raw, starchy taste. The breadcrumbs will soak up a little bit of that excess moisture, just like the flour will, but they're already cooked. So that's uh, just my trick here. So you see, that's pretty loose. Don't expect this to be something that's real thick. This is going to be a very thin batter, and uh, the egg is basically going to hold it together. So on medium heat, with a little bit of uh, olive oil, I'm going to put those in the pan and kind of flatten them out into my round shape. And then you got to be patient. Put it on medium, medium low, and just let the olive oil kind of brown and, and crisp up that starch on that side before you turn them. Okay, you can peek underneath if you have to, but I left mine a good seven, eight minutes on one side, and then of course I flipped them over and did the other side. All right, and when those are ready, you're gonna put those on a plate to rest, and then we're gonna get these scallops ready. Very simple, I got some capers, some butter, some fresh basil leaves, I'm gonna leave those whole, and then one half a bell pepper that I just roasted and cut up in strips, and that I'll put a link to that video in case you don't know how to do that. I have a pound of beautiful wild scallops. They were frozen, and whenever you're using frozen scallops, you got to make sure they're extremely dry. So you're going to drain them. You're going to put a couple paper towels on the bottom and the top, and just let them really drain and sit out for a good 20 minutes so that paper towel kind of soaks up all that moisture. All right, okay, I'm getting behind. I got some cayenne pepper, some salt, just a little bit of oil, just to touch, just to kind of... Uh, I coat the outside, and then I wiped out my pan, the same pan I did the potatoes in, and I'm going to add my scallops, and this is on high heat in a good quality nonstick pan. I'm going to throw my red peppers just off to the side. All right, I'm going to flip those over after they have a good crust going. So mine took about four minutes on each side, three to four minutes. We're going to take the scallops out of the pan and let those rest. And this sauce goes together so quick, you don't even need to do anything with the scallops. All right, I'm going to spread out the peppers so they can cook and kind of caramelize a little more. All right, I don't want those crunchy, and they didn't get that soft just with the roasting part. I'm going to throw in the whole basil leaves, okay? Don't chop them. I'm going to put like one on each scallop. So pick as many basil leaves as you have scallops. All right, so after that, you saw I'm going to add my butter and my capers. By the way, if you have a windowsill or a garden, you have to put a pot of basil in the sun. So nice to have that. And as soon as that butter's just about melted, I'm gonna hit it with about a quarter cup of water, and I'm gonna turn off the heat. That's the sauce. So simple, so easy, so delicious. I'm gonna put on the potato pancake onto a nice warm plate. The potato pancake is just warm. It doesn't have to be hot because the scallops and the sauce are hot. I'm going to place a few scallops over. This is kind of an appetizer size or a first course. You can double this for an entree. All right, I'm going to put one wilted basil leaf on each scallop. And on go my peppers. And there goes the natural pan juices and that little bit of butter and that caper, uh, beautiful briny saltiness. This was so good. And I just made it up as I went along. Okay, so sometimes leftovers like mashed potato turn out to be something very cool for dinner. A lot of stores are selling frozen wild chemical-free scallops, which are a great product. I really hope you give this a try. Check out the ingredients on the site. And as always, enjoy.